it is the season for pepper pot and bread hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i would like to share with you my delicious bread recipe remember for all the ingredients and measurements it will be listed down below in the description box under this video now let's get into the first step and what you will need to put this recipe together so guys, here is what you will need to put that recipe together. I have here some all-purpose flour. I will be using some sugar, some dry active yeast. I have some milk, vegetable oil, butter, and some water here. Now, now the first step is to activate our yeast. Now to my warm water. Remember, your water should be warm, not hot. Once you touch it, it should be bearable, like skin touch. You're gonna add in your sugar, and you're gonna stir a little bit here. And I'm gonna add in my yeast. Now, you wanna stir this, and we're gonna set this on the side to activate. It should take about eight to 10 minutes. Now, once your yeast is activated, you'll see a lot of foam on the top. It will like froth up to the top. So we'll place this on the side and just allow it to activate for that eight to 10 minutes. And I'll see you guys back in a few. We also are gonna need some salt, which I forgot to mention, but I'll place this on the side as well. So guys, here's what your yeast mixture should look like when it's done activating look at how foamy this is now if yours doesn't foam up like that it means your yeast is no good you will need to redo this process here to that I am going to add in my butter and I'm going to add in my oil here and we're also going to add in the milk Remember, you want to use warm milk. All the ingredients should be warm. Nothing should be cold. And I'm going to place this on the side. To your flour, you're going to add in your salt. You want to add the salt to the flour and not to the yeast mixture. Otherwise, you will stop the yeast from activating. Now, after you add your salt to the flour, you want to go in with your hands and mix to make sure that the salt is evenly distributed within the flour. And now you wanna give your mixture here a stir and you're gonna form a well in the middle. We're gonna go in with about half of that mixture. And now we're gonna start bringing the flour together. Just spread your fingers and just claw them together like so. And now we will go in with the remaining of the mixture. So now that we're done adding in all the liquid, we are looking for a slightly sticky dough. And just remember if your dough gets too sticky, you can add a little bit of flour and just knead it in. Now we're gonna knead this until the dough becomes a little bit smooth on the top. You don't want it to be this like rough here. We want to activate the gluten a little bit in the dough, in the flour. Just knead it for about three or four minutes. And you will notice that it's starting to get nice and smooth like this. So it's best to cover your dough with a piece of cling wrap. We don't want any air to get in. Otherwise, it will cause your dough to dry out on the top and have that dry, crusty layer on the top. So I am gonna place this on the side and allow my dough to rest until it's double in size. That should take about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. So I will see you guys back in an hour and a half. So guys, returning after an hour and a half, this is what we are left with here. This is how nice my bread dough rise. It's double in size and now we just want to punch this down here and you just want to knead for a few seconds like 30 seconds or so to get all the air out 
so I'm just going to use a little bit of butter to grease my pan. The size of my pan I will be using today is an eight and a half inch by five and a half inch. And for sure, I know my bread dough that I made here will be too much for this pan. So I'm just going to take off a piece. So I took off about a quarter of the dough. I'm using just three quarter. And what you want to do is you want to try to form this into a log looking. So you're going to try to put your hands on the bottom here and press in and make it like, you know, you want the top to be nice and neat. And when you're done, you're just gonna pull the edge in here and tuck it. And we're gonna pinch in the bottom. And now let's tuck in the other side and pinch the rest of the dough to seal the bottom there nicely. And now we'll bring our baking pan and we'll just place this nicely on the bottom here. Once you place that in the bottom, you just wanna press to take all the space and the air from the bottom of the pan out. You just wanna fill in the empty space with your dough. Just give it a nice press here, neat press. Now what we'll do is cover this again and allow it to sit until the dough has doubled in size again and for the little bit of extra dough you have yeah, you, you can, can just use it up to make um, a few dinner rolls you want to just break them into small pieces and smoothen it like nice little dough balls and when you place them in the pan set them about an inch apart and you also will have to leave these to sit on the side until they are double in size as well so guys after 35 minutes of resting my bread dough this is how nice it rise. And now my oven is preheated to 375 degrees and I will bake this for 30 to 35 minutes. It depends on your oven. If the temperature rises really hot, you might need to bake yours for 25 to 30 minutes. You know, everybody know how their oven cooks. Mine's I will have to bake my bread for about 30 to 35 minutes. So let me place this in the oven and I will show you guys after 35 minutes how it came So out. after baking for 35 minutes, this is how the bread is looking. I went ahead and allow it to cool down and I remove it from the pan. Now we are going to cut into this and I'm gonna show you how it's looking on the inside. You also wanna to remember to brush on a little bit of butter on the top that will help you to have a nice soft layer on the outside now let's cut into our bread and see how it's looking on the inside look at that guys how beautiful and soft it is on the inside so guys here's the end result of our bread recipe i hope you enjoy this recipe and i hope you give it a try don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!